and for me would be a bit hard to describe because I've got other conditions that come into play as well. My cramps aren't really cramps, they're more just pain waves, that's the best way I can describe it and it's just a burning pain, sometimes it's a sharp pain, like a dull ache, like it changes all the time but it'll be to the point where I'm curled up in a ball in bed, can't move. Every single day I have pain of some kind. It's just on a good day, it's a lot less and I don't feel as tired and exhausted from it. I knew from the moment I got my period that something wasn't right. I had several trips to the emergency room where the doctors either gave me Panadol and told me to go home or gave me morphine and kept me in trying to do tests and stuff which never ended up showing anything and then I thought that I'd probably lose the ability to have a child. It's affected most of my life. Even um, family relationships aren't quite the same. I feel like a lot of older people don't quite understand endometriosis no matter how much you um, explain it they just ex assume that it's just a regular period and that you just put up with it and you know if, if you put up with it life would be easier and all this and it's it's quite heartbreaking when they make claims like that when they don't really understand. She's been suffering from different sorts of pain since she was about 10 years old so it's been quite a journey to actually come to a diagnosis. Well I think the, the main help has been as a support mechanism, whether it be emotional support and of course the financial side of things um, is very important because these specialists aren't cheap. So I've just tried to be there for Jess and shoulder to cry on. If I wanted to have children, I would need to start trying basically straight away because it was so severe that with every cycle that passed my chances would get less and less quite drastically. So I had the discussion with my partner and we decided that it was something that we both wanted and that we would try and make it work. So I went on this medication to take at the beginning of each cycle that would help me ovulate and eventually I kicked into some kind of cycle and the first month that I took that medication I felt pregnant. And I found out after a few days, unfortunately, my um, HCG, which is the pregnancy hormone, the levels were starting to decline and I had some cramping and I found out that I had a miscarriage. But I, cont I knew that I needed to keep trying because if it was something I wanted and I waited too long grieving for this, then I could miss my chance. So I continued taking the um, medication for five or six months, I think it was, and then I fell pregnant again. It was the last month that I was going to do before having another laparoscopy to clear out everything. We would try again after that, after the surgery, but we would do this one more cycle. And that was the cycle that I fell pregnant with Maeve, who is my daughter. She is now four months old. But part of me throughout my pregnancy was worried that I would have another miscarriage even if it was, um, or when she was born something would happen. I think to all the mums out there, the best advice I can give is to just be there for your daughters. There's often nothing you can do other than support them emotionally, um, obviously financially, but it's important that they know they can come to you about anything. Uh, now that Jess has got her own daughter, I think she understands how much love is involved, as in you do anything for your daughter. If I had to give um, people suffering from endometriosis or other chronic health conditions any advice, it's just to listen to yourself and trust yourself. If you feel like it's too much or something's wrong, push for answers, push to see a gynaecologist no matter how young you are. Um, listen to yourself and listen to your body. Hopefully you've got someone who can be supportive and support you through that journey. Make sure that you listen to yourself because only you know what's right and what's wrong in your body. Thank you.